Good morning, I'm Chris Beecham and welcome to your morning market headlines for Friday the 29th of June. And it's been an exciting start to trading in London this morning with the FTSE up around 70 points at 55.65 in the wake of the Eurozone summit agreed last night, although we've seen it edge back from its high seen at the very beginning of the session. Now Italy and Spain appear to have trounced Germany using their combined might. Not only have they managed to get them out of the football, but they've also managed to wring major concessions to, from Berlin by threatening to bring the entire Eurozone to a standstill if new measures were not agreed. Now those measures include the use of EU bailout funds to directly recapitalise banks, which is a big win for Spain in the short term, while Italy has managed to persuade Germany that countries asking for bailout funds should not be subjected to the same degree of scrutiny that Greece has been for the past two years. Also, there's been the creation of a single banking supervisor, which is a significant step on the road to a banking union. So it does appear that for once, the Eurozone appears to have made a bit of this decent progress in its efforts to tackle the summit. These are big wins for peripheral countries in their fight against German intransigence and it's a major concession by Germany itself who has previously resisted any idea of joint liabilities. Of course, the long-term ramifications have yet to be seen, but in the short term, Spanish and Italian bond yields are down this morning. Now, whether this good sentiment lasts into next week remains to be seen, but at the moment, the euro is up around 140 points. Life, of course, carries on outside of the Eurozone. Um, this afternoon, we have US personal consumption data, the Chicago PMI, and the final reading of the June Michigan Confidence Index. And the S&P is expected to start up in fine form around 18 points higher at 1347.